Hello. I just wanted to give you some pathetic insight on a dream that I just had. And I was going to wait till later to do this, but God said, no, this is urgent because this is a tactic that the enemy uses so many times to try to get people to get into covenant with him. And I wrote it in my phone because I want to word it exactly the way that God told me. And then I'm going to explain the dream to you so you know what, where um, it's coming from. But, uh, but actually, I'll explain the dream first and then I'll tell you the, the tactic. I had a dream about um, me and my friend. We were with this man that she knows that, um, well, he calls himself a pastor, but really he's a fallen pastor. So I don't, we don't even call him pastor no more. We just call him by his name. But uh, this guy that she was was in ministry with um, not too long ago. And we were in the car with him. And we were driving down the road. Was, we were in his car and we were driving down the road. And um, she had this check in her hand. That was made for nine hundred dollars, and I thought, and it was her check was made payable to her. I guess it was from the phone company, which was really odd. I didn't understand that part until I woke up, and I thought, okay, this is God gave me immediate revelation on it. But I knew there was something not right with it, and it was a, a check from the phone company, and it was made for nine hundred dollars. And she asked me to sign it, and I thought, I mean, I didn't say it out loud to her, but I thought, why do I have to do this? This ain't my check. This is her check. It's made out to her. It's not made out to me. So why do I have to sign it for? It didn't make sense. But since she was my friend, I trusted her. And I signed it. And then I gave it back to her. And we just kept on going down the road. And him, she told me that he was asking her to go on this trip with him um, somewhere. I don't know where it was at. She didn't say. She just said that it was on a trip that he asked her to go with him on. And she accepted it. And I thought, oh, Jesus. I knew there was something wrong with that. And I had this piece of paper in my hand. And I lifted it before God. And I said, God, I hand this to you. I said, I just prayed not out loud. And I said, I hand this to you. I said, I'm placing this in your hands. And I had the piece of paper. I don't know what was written on it. But I handed it. I think it was like a prayer request. That's what it was. It was a prayer request that was written on it. And I handed it to God. I had lifted it up to him. And I said, Lord, I hand this to you. And this situation to you. Um. Because I knew it was a trap sent by the enemy. He was trying to trap her into into um, going on this trip with him so that he could get her to get off of the path that God has for her. It was a trap. And he was using that. And I believe, well, actually, I don't believe I know. That's the revelation that God gave me. That this is something that is pending that's going to happen in the future. So, actually, I have to tell her about this, too. <laughs> but, um, which I'll tell her in the morning later on. Um it's like four o'clock now, but four in the morning <laughs> and God told me this is urgent. So I have to get this out. Um, but he was, the enemy is using this to get her off of her path that God has her on. He's trying to cause this as a distraction to get her to fall off of the track, the, the path that he has her on so that he can get her sucked back into her old ways again. And the enemy's using this tactic and he does this so many times. And the, the part with the check is um, some prophetic insight on dreams that God wanted me to reveal to people. He revealed this to me um, a long time ago. I learned <laughs> I learned this a long, long time ago. But any time that um, in a dream that you sign a contract, whether it's a, a check or whatever it is, like I did my dream, whatever, it's a, any kind of anything. It doesn't matter what if it's a contract to something or if it's a legal document or a check or whatever, and you sign it in your dream, the enemy uses that to get you into covenant with him so that he can have you locked in to him so that he can have control over you, basically. So he can control you. And then your covenant with God's broke. So he tried, that's how he does it. That's how he deceives so many people because they don't know. Because he uses familiar, you know, he uses people that, you know and trust so that he can get you trick you into coming into covenant with him because he knows if you if it's somebody that you trust with it's called a familiar spirit it's not really the person it's just a familiar spirit pretending to be the person that you know so that he can get you into covenant with him and that's how he does it that's a tactic that he uses so many times to get people to come into covenant with him unknowingly they unknowingly do it because they don't know they think it's really the person in the dream, they think it's really the person that they know. And really, it's not. It's a familiar spirit. 
And the enemy is using that to get you to come to get into covenant with him so that your covenant with God will get broke. And then you'll have a contract with him. That way he has control over you and he can basically do whatever he wants and torment you and do whatever he wants to do. But the minute you have a dream like that and you wake up, you have got to pray <laughs> this simple little prayer. And I've learned this a long time ago and I wanted to pass this information on to people that don't know because a lot of people may not know this. But when you wake up from a dream, any kind of dream like that, where you're signing any kind of contract check, it doesn't matter, whatever it is, and you're signing your name to it, the minute you wake up, you got to cancel that. Not only cancel the dream and, and break it, but you have to break the covenant that you made with the devil. You have to say, Lord, I break this covenant in the name of Jesus. I break this covenant that I made in my dream with the enemy. I break it. I break it right now in the name of Jesus, and I renew my covenant. And my contract with you in Jesus' name, through the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And you, you, you renew your contract and your covenant with God so that the enemy cannot get his way and get into controlling you. Because this is what he uses so many times. He will use this through dreams to get the people. And God told me this is really urgent and I was going to wait till in the morning to get this out. But he said, no, I don't want you to do this now. This is an on-time word for people. A lot of people, I don't know how many people, but I know this is an on-time word for people that has to get out now. It's like certain words sometimes God gives me that I have to get out at a certain time. And this is one of them. So he wanted me to get this out now because he said it was an urgent um, thing that I had to get out. An urgent word that I had to get out um, to people. So I wanted to get this out as a, as a, like a heads up. <laughs> because when you have a dream like that. It doesn't matter what kind of contract you're signing. Like with me, it was a check, but it doesn't matter if it's a check, if it's a contract to something, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you're signing, even if it's a blank piece of paper, it doesn't matter. If you sign anything in a dream, it will make it look, the enemy makes it look like it's innocent, but it's really not. It's a tactic he uses to get you into the covenant with him, and then he can control you with it. And he does this to so many people, especially now in these last days, he's going to be doing this a lot. <laughs> To people so be aware if you have dreams like that cancel it i mean the minute you wake up cancel it and renounce it and break your covenant with the devil and renew your covenant with god through the blood of jesus because if you don't the enemy will have a hold on you and he does this to people that don't have the knowledge and the understanding of dreams and the understanding of, of covenants and contracts and stuff that you do in, a, in your dreams is very important that's why i say so many times it's important that you write down your dreams, keep a record of them so that you know things like this and it will, it will sharpen your discernment and it will help you and give you greater insight on the things that the enemy is using to come against you with. And the more that you know, the more you can come against it and, and the enemy will not be able to get a hold on you. But I, I wanted to get this word out because I know it's an on-time word for a lot of people. And I wanted to help you with this because so many people get sucked into um, making a covenant with the enemy and not even realizing what they do. And then when the enemy starts attacking them and he starts doing all this stuff to them and they're trying to come against it and it's not working, they're wondering why. Why is this not working? Why am I, is, is my prayers to God not working? Why is the enemy doing this? And there's nothing, seems like there's nothing I can do to break it. And that's why, because you come into covenant with him. And once you do that, he has total control over you and he can do, torment you and do what he wants to do you know, basically without you even, I mean, having any knowledge of it because that's how he does it. He's slick. He tries to, to do anything he can. And in these last days, he's going to be doing this a lot to people. So I just want to give you a heads up and, and make you aware of it so that you know, and you have the understanding and the knowledge that you need to come against these things because we need this in the last days. We need all the insight on the enemy's tactics we can get, <laughs> So I just wanted to get this word out there real quick. But until next time, y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.